Hello everybody, it's Bill Owen from MMPC Tech. Hope you're having a great day. Several people have asked if I could share the steps on how I do my touchscreen LCD mod in a computer case bezel. Well, by request, here's the video guide. So I've been using these 5 inch capacitive touchscreens for $44.99 delivered on Amazon Prime. I'll post a link in the video description for you. The kit comes with a micro USB for power and an HDMI video connector, but these cables are far too short for these PC case mods I'm doing. The kit also includes some M3 standoffs, a driver disc, and some instructions. This is a 5-point capacitive touchscreen with a resolution of 800 by 460, which is just fine for its 5-inch size viewing screen. And 5 inches is the perfect dimension for a PC case bezel. In addition to the LCD, I also buy these cables, a 3-foot right-angle 270-degree HDMI cord, a 6-inch 90-degree angle HDMI extension adapter, and a 3-foot USB male-to-micro-B power connector. For materials, I use 3 16 inch thick black acrylic to make custom mounting brackets for the screen. By the way, you can pause the video at any time to record the measurements that I've made for cutting your own acrylic. I make my own mounting brackets because I want to have a very clean installation without seeing screws in the front of the computer holding the screen in. Also, I want the ability to easily install and remove the LCD whenever I want. I'm using an eighth inch drill bit that's made specifically for acrylic and 632 thread tap. These black thumb screws from MMPCTech.com are going to be great. I'll also use the eighth inch drill bit to increase the diameter of the holes in the LCD PCB frame so I can use my thumb screws. I discovered these specialized drill bits for plastics and acrylics a few years ago. Notice the bit isn't splintering or cracking the acrylic as I drill the holes. Next step is tapping all of the holes for 632 thread so I can use the thumb screws. My mod requires 12 632 size washers and again I'll post a link in the video description for you to these washers. So why so many washers Bill? Well we want the touchscreen to mount flush on the back side of the bezel. Also take note of where the location of the washers are with the thumb screws. I also don't want to apply too much unnecessary pressure to the screen so it cracks or the PCB board. Now see how this sheet of paper easily slides under the screen? That's perfect spacing for the LCD. The next stage is cutting out our opening into the PC bezel for our LCD screen. To determine the location, I like to use a measuring square. For cutting the opening, I'll be using a Dremel with a one and a half inch size reinforced cutoff wheel from MMPC Tech. And don't forget to always wear eye protection when using power tools, just in case something like this happens. So finally, after cutting our five inch diagonal square hole for the LCD, I'll hand file the edges of everything so it's nice and precise and clean. And you may have to remove sound insulation foam from the back side of your bezel depending on which kind of case you have. I'm using E6000 adhesive to attach the two mounting brackets. This adhesive is very gooey at first, so consider masking off your screen to prevent getting any of this goo onto the screen. Once you've centered your LCD screen into the cutout, Use some masking tape to temporarily hold it in place overnight as the adhesive cures. After 24 hours, test out your mounting brackets. Uninstall the LCD and reinstall it. See how quick and easy it is? Now let's get this LCD touchscreen connected to our PC with all the cables routed from the front to the rear, starting with the 3-foot right-angle 270-degree HDMI cord, the 6-inch 90-degree adapter, and the 3-foot USB mail to micro B power connector. You know, this mod is really great if you want an extra screen on your PC for monitoring hardware and temps. You can also display weather, calendar, or email notifications. Now for a truly custom interface for your new LCD mod, check out rainmeter.net. This community offers several hundred custom-made graphic interfaces for free that you can download. And you can configure your screen to display a variety of updated information and tasks on your PC. Thanks everybody for watching my quick guide on this. And again, all the products used in this PC case mod are listed in the video description. I hope you have a fantastic day.